Hey guys, Gray Eagle again. As promised, I said that we were going to talk about uh, mods and the mod manager. And I kept saying Nexus in my first video on Satisfactory. Shoot me in the foot. Made a mistake. Not too big to own up. Uh, it is Satisfactory mod manager. Okay, and it does have a... Uh, web page and I will um, try to put a link down in the description as to where it is where you can get it um, it's really cool because there are quite a few mods these are the ones I have installed uh, for for example um, I mean this is something for everyone uh, as it says, Smart is a pretty good uh, mod that makes you can you can put down a uh, base floor in short order, or you can put down multiple uh, constructors. You can put down multiple foundries. You can put down multiple anything. Okay, uh, power poles. You don't need to put down multiples because you don't want to stack them right next to each other. That'd be stupid. But it helps you with the tedious jobs like um, laying down a runner so that you can put your rail down. Uh, if you're going to have a sky rail and you have to put the foundations down first, you can go back and take them up, but you still got to put them down. This helps you do multiples. Okay? This was another one I mentioned in my first video. It's called Refined Power. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, matter of fact, I very much endorse it. Uh, it allows you some flexibility in your power grid uh, with wind turbines of types. Okay, solar panels, um, a um, water turbine. Now, realize these two guys put out the same. This is 30, this is 30. I believe this is 100, 100 even. Solar panels I have not messed with yet. I want to do them more. Uh, there's a reactor, there's all kinds of stuff, okay? But it really is up to you, okay? What you want to mod with. This is exosuit mod um, it combines the jetpack and the uh, blade runners together it it has a pretty severe cost of 50 computers uh, you can only get it later in the game and you have to unlock it just like you would any other quest or milestone um, this is the one that I told you I had keep your shit this keeps your inventory when you die. Uh, this one I believe is a must because I hate if I fall off a cliff and I'm down in a cavern and I die because I fell down into the abyss having to go back down there just to get my box. You know, if you're exploring and you make a real big boo-boo and you fall down a cliff and then you're like, well, I'm going to try to get back up there. And you're hopping back up and you slide off and you go down into no man's land. Your box is going to be at your last known spot. Major pain in the ass to go get it. With this, you die, you get back to the hub, you let yourself materialize, you hit tab on and off. Boom, you got your shit back. Um... This is another one, Stack Overload. Uh, another one that I find that is a must. It turns your stacks from the little piddly stacks to 500s. Uh, you pretty much hold 500 of everything, anything. Okay, I know that makes no difference when you're doing wire and some other ones, but you know, having the ability to only hold 50 cable 
or 100 cable, I forget what the stack is. It's been a while since I had the vanilla, vanilla stacks. But you'll find your inventory fills up super quick and you have to haul a whole bunch of crap. This, you can haul more, move more things. It's not a deal breaker as far as I'm concerned. It's not a cheat. And I know there's a lot of folks out there to go, oh Jesus, you know, he's cheating. Uh, no, it just makes your stacks bigger. I always like bigger stacks in any game I play. I played Ark for a while. I got a stack mod for it. Uh, played Atlas. Got a stack mod for it. Actually, I went in and tuned up the program, but every time it updated, it wiped it out, and I had to go back in and do it again. But this mod is a worth having. This one... Yeah. You can get it or you don't, okay? It uses salt. As you know, nuclear waste you can't do anything with in the game. Except store it. This allows you to take your nuclear waste, rebind it with other components, so it's not a deal breaker. That's why I like it. You recombine it with more fuel rods salt and something else I forget how it all the recipes work exactly but here's a recipe it's 25 nuclear waste 25 uh, encased uranium cells the electromagnets 5 and 25 salt and it makes one nuclear waste rod they're expensive but it deals with a problem in the nuclear reactor to get rid of the nuclear waste permanently. That way you don't have to build this big high stack of nuclear waste out in no man's land. Uh, fix It Industries is supposed to be a environmentally conscious, we waste nothing type company so this is doing the same thing that they would do so that mod as far as I'm concerned is not a deal breaker <coughs> <coughs> excuse me in the mod manager there are tons and I mean tons of mods that you can go look at okay um I'm not going to go through there because I don't want to influence or dissuade anybody from using a mod. I will tell you this, if you put lights in your base it will diminish the frame rate. You may get stutters. Uh, the more light, the more moving objects you get the more your frame rate will go down, which will not enhance your experience. Now, I will tell you this. In here, uh, let's see, it's in this one. You'll notice I am not running the, no, it isn't perfect power. It's the stacks mod. In the stacks mod, I am not running the most current. Okay. There's the mod versions. I'm running three back. Why? Uh, they took the ability to stack the miner when they upgraded the mod. I'm not too thrilled with that because I do like stacking the miners because sometimes I carry 10, 12, 14, 15 of them. And why should a miner take up a slot? by itself. You're not unitasking. The main reason they moved it back to one per slot was somebody whined because he picked up a whole stack, put it down on a node uh, like an idiot, and guess what? It only puts down one. The others disappear. 
So it you use it at your own risk. It's like any other mod. Quit your whining. Use the mod if you want to. If you don't, too bad. Have a good day. Um, I will tell you, I favorited all of these because, yes, they are my favorites. Uh, there is one in here for teleporter. I'm not going to show these other mods because, number one, I want to play close to vanilla with assistance. I want a little bit of assistance. Now, refined power is assistance. Smart is assistance. Exosuit is just combining two vanilla objects into one. It allows you to fly and use your uh, Blade Runners together. Where if they put two slots in the body slot, then I would use the Blade Runner and the jetpack. But there's only one, and there's no way to get two. If they made a way to get two slots, you know, if it was in one of the milestones that you got another body slot, hey, I'm all for it, and then I'll lose that mod. Till then, I'm using it. Because I like the ability to fly and the ability to jump. Because if any of y'all have played this, if you've played Satisfactory long enough, you know it's a pain in the ass to try to jump over a pipe. Okay, you always got to build everything tall if you don't have Blade Runners. And if you want to use a jetpack, you have to swap back and forth. So if you're wearing a jetpack and you left your Blade Runners back in your little storage can, you got to run back and get your Blade Runners so you can jump over pipes. And then you got to put your pack on to fly. It, it's a pain in the butt. All you have to do is carry fuel and the exosuit works. Uh, let's go on to this one and talk about it. Keep your inventory. Like I said, I don't like having to chase after that stupid gray box that you drop when you croak. Uh, because nine times out of ten, I don't die in combat. I die from stupidity. Uh, I die from combat often, but I die from doing dumb shit more often. Okay, jump off a cliff on accident or fall off of it. I shouldn't say jump off of it. I don't do it on purpose. Fall off a cliff because you're trying to get up. And then all of a sudden you croak because you didn't have enough life to take the fall that you took. Not a deal breaker. Okay, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, y'all may have a different outlook on this. You may not. Leave a comment if you like it. If you like these mods, please go to Satisfactory Mod Manager, not Nexus, Satisfactory Mod Manager, and pick them up. I mean, they don't hurt. You can always turn them off. And if you don't like them, you can uninstall them. Okay? So, those are my picks. They're not have-tos. Smart's a lot of fun because you can put down multiples of everything. I mean, you can see it. There's videos in there to show you what it does it does a lot of stuff and I mean you can have a lot of fun um, it's not a deal breaker okay not a deal breaker it's help it assists you so there you go those are my picks on mods I know my opinion doesn't mean a hill of beans to anybody. I really don't care whether it does or it don't. But this is what I use. So. Okay. Now. That we're done with that. Let's go back to the game. Exactly where we left off. Okay. And I'm going to save game. I just give it a number. I really don't have to put a name to it. But as you see, this is your auto save. When you leave the game, you don't have to save. But if you want it to the second that you're done, you do. 
you want to give yourself a manual save. It automatically saves, I believe, the timer clock. Let's go over here in options just for shits and giggles. Uh, you can set everything in here. And I didn't explain this in my first tutorial on how to get through the vanilla tutorial quickly. And it wasn't quick. I mean, I spent two hours with you guys. And scared the hell out of me. I spent that long on YouTube. But anyhow, you can turn the head bobbing up. In other words, if you want to get seasick, uh, you can set your language. Um, I really don't mind spiders, but in here you can check this box and it shows up as cats. The spiders don't have a bad thing. If you're afraid of spiders, check the box. <coughs> My network quality is ultra because, <clears throat> well, I'm running on high speed. Um, auto save interval, right there it is, every 10 minutes. So if you do a bunch of shit in 10 minutes, <coughs> leave the game before the auto save, you're going to lose it. That's why I say manual save before you leave. Um, build step on release. I don't... You can use it if you want to. You don't have to. Um, break notifications. And when you run out of fuel, run out of this, that the next thing it will pop up. Auto save notifications, I turned it off because it's aggravating. When you auto save, yeah, you're going to stutter for a second and then you can go on. But anyhow, that's my settings and those are my mods. And we're back where we were. We're going to get done doing a few things today. And I'm going to do this as a playthrough. So you're going to see episode one through whatever. Um... And we're going to start in the same spot we were in each time until we get to the first uh, step up in the um, space elevator. Once we move to the second progress step, we're going to do something different. Uh, and I'll leave that as a teaser. But uh, you're going to like it. Everybody always goes to the, the forest the first time. I'm going to show you how to do the desert, which is hard, the first time. And I'm going to show how, how, how you can do it with style. Okay? Now, remember I said I had windmills and all that good crap? You still got to buy it. Okay? And yes, I'm lighting a cancer stick. I do smoke. Uh, more than one thing. We're not going there. Um, <laughs> that's something you didn't need to know. But, what the hell. If you notice now that you have gone through the originals, okay, you have a thing over here for your refined power. This is the Patron um, thank you window that they have made. I buy it just to get it out of my hair. I don't want to see it, okay? So I put it up as a milestone, get it up there. Um, I got to run out here and get some concrete. I may not have any because everything's shut down because the power died. Uh, but. Anyhow, I want to get it and get it gone. So, I'm just going to say bye-bye. Get rid of it. Okay. 
a message from the refined R and D Which is branch really of stupid. We would not be as motivated as much as we are without you, and cannot give back as much as we would ever want. At this point, this is our way of saying thank you to you all of you that support our work while working on Fixit Farming. We love you guys to death. Even just using the mod means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Regards, refined R and D. Now go back to work. Okay, refined R and D. Those are good guys. Okay, but I don't know why it launches the damn whatever. It only launches it for sixty seconds. It's gonna come back. It's actually pretty cool to watch. That's your automated um, parts transport. So you get your milestones. The space elevator does similar to what it does, only it sends up your milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter reentry complete. It's a freighter. Okay, she corrected me. But the uh, space elevator does your milestone sets. So you can only do one and two section. That opens up three and four when you do the uh, space elevator. I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, we want these. Okay, remember I told you back, I believe in using uh, the wind turbines? We really want these. But we need a lot of concrete, and we need a bunch of plate and rods. Because they take rods and plates to make. But see, they're not free. Okay, this is not a mod that just gives you the ability to build the part. Or to build the machine. It is a mod that costs you to get. Also, the machine costs you to put it down. It does similar work to the vanilla. But... With wind power, wind power is free, right? Not really. Wind power is pretty cool. Wait a minute, I want to set that as a milestone. So we did. And we need to bake off some more power. So what we're going to do, we ran out of fuel. We're going to throw some leaves in this one. We're going to run out pretty soon. And we've got a few leaves in this one. Um, let's go grab some leaves. Our nuts have... Our barrel nuts. Is it barrel? Barrel. I don't know. Alien nuts. They've re-sprouted. Uh, it's an alien nut. Anyhow. Ugh. Those have came back. If you notice, the bushes come back pretty quick. That's what she said. More food. Uh, but. And I also turned off and got rid of the auto spawn on the. Uh, creatures because I don't see where fighting creatures is going to help you learn what you need to get done anyhow yep we ran out of leaves already anyhow we're going to make biomass when we get done with this biomass lasts a little longer than we'll get up there thank you Biomass lasts a little longer than leaves and is a lot easier to deal with. Um, one of my buds asked me, how do you get the puppy? He's been playing for damn near six months and said, how do you get the puppy? Come here, doggy. First things first, get away from him. When you get away from him, he's going to walk up. And this one's going to prove me wrong. He probably can't get back up. Where you at, dude? He ran away. Anyhow, don't chase him. 
you don't need to. There is a bacon mushroom. Ooh. Bumblebees. I'm going to show you what these guys are. Probably going to lose my ass. Come here, bacon. Let's see if I can get up here and steal you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here they come. Where yet? Come here. Come here. You knock them down once. You got to hit these idiots twice with the uh, zapper. And they hit you. It hurts. Kill that one. Kill that one. Ouch. That's your butt. Where's your other buddy? There you are. And these guys you almost got a chase to kill. They're a pain in your neck. <sighs> Thank you, that's over. Now, when they, they spawn out, see he left the car face behind. But he was guarding um, Rock Wart. This is not a node. This is just so your man picks up that you've got quartz. And you can get other stuff. And you want the bacon. Bacon is the highest nutrition out of the whole game. Except for the uh, inhaler. Do, 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 do. We need leaves. Bunch of them. Come on. There's no bad guys up here that I know of. I do know that it becomes harder to get up as you go. And we're going to wait till we get foundations to get up there. Do 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 do. Come across here. Flop down there. Oh, there's one. See the little doggy? Press tab. Split out one. All you need is one of your berries. Take it out here and drop it. Close this and just don't look at him. He's going to ease up and eat the berry. When he does, pet him. I'm not going to pet him today. You can say I'm mean because I nailed him. I'm not going to pet him today. I don't want him yet. Number one, he's going to get underfoot. Okay, now he's sulking. Because I zapped him. He's going to get underfoot and get in your way when you're building your base. You can get him. Well, I might as well. I feel bad that I blasted him. Where'd he go? Come on, dude. I'm gonna feed you another berry. Feel bad that I hit you. Okay, he's over there. And he sees you. He won't want to run away right now. So go in your... Get a berry. Drop it. Close that. And all you got to do is hit your E key. Don't hit your mouse and nail him. Once he picks it up and eats it, all you have to do is hit your E key and pet him. Once you pet him, he's now your friend. Okay, now you can check his inventory. He's going to show up stuff right there. This is your inventory. This is his inventory. He only gets one slot. And he'll give you things. Okay. Now he's your doggo. And he will follow you around. And he will be a pest. He'll follow you around for quite some time. And he's always behind you. Unless you jump up on stuff or go a place where he can't get to. 
and when you jump a conveyor belt he's gonna get stuck but he'll find a way to get around to you here's a trick you got biomass now now we're gonna make biomass wood makes a lot of it biomass leaves Remember I told you dumbass would find you? Wasn't kidding, was I? I was not kidding. He'll find you. If you go into your base and he's in the way or whatever, he will still find you. I want to split that stack in half. Feed that to that one. Feed that to that one. Notice we got leaves back. So now we got more leaves we can put into biomass. You cannot at first turn carapaces into biomass or alien organs. You can turn wood and leaves. After you study it in the man, you can turn it into uh, biomass once you study it. But what we're going to do is we're going to make, make the rest of these leaves into biomass. We get that done, we'll get have enough power for a while. We'll throw another 55 in each one. We got power. Or uh, as Einstein said, Vahu. When he made his discovery. Now we're making stuff again. Everything is running. Okay, we want to go over here to our rod bend. See, I told you, he drives me nuts. I usually run them off for the first couple, two or three hours that I play because I really don't want to deal with him. Okay, we haven't put a storage on this yet. So when he gets to 500, because we got that stacks mod, um, it will stop. So advisable if you don't want to stop making parts. <laughs> Come on, come on. I hear dummy behind me. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. Voila. Now all your plates are going in there. They're going in slowly. Realize this. You have Mark 1, 2, and 3 on miners. You have Mark 1 and 2. No, you've got Mark, yeah, Mark 1 and 2 on pipes, and you've got Mark 1 through 5 on conveyor belts. So it is advisable to research them. Okay, we only need a hundred and a half of those, so we got enough. We got enough of those. Alright. Now. Milestone reached. The refined power R&D division have developed a new power generation method. This building can generate up to 30 megawatts of power based on its altitude. Note, if a wind generation device is within the vicinity of another building of the same type, performance will not be optimal. Stay efficient. Okay, what she just said... I need one of these. Okay. Because we got to go down here and build something. Come on, dopey. God. I don't like doggies when I'm first running because they get in the way a lot. Believe me. And you hear that sound? That. There is a. Um, 
it's not a sphere, it's the other one. Anyhow, there's a, a relic up there. I don't pick him up. I don't pick up the work in progress relics. I probably will start soon when they start figuring out what to use them for. Uh, spoiler alert, that is coming um, from the devs. Okay, that came from them. They're going to actually get it to where they absolutely do something instead of you picking them up and listening to the phantom voice bitch at you because you didn't pick it up. Okay, here's where the fun begins. All right, we have two new things. This is the Patron wall. Okay, I'm not going to build that. It's it's a waste of my stuff right at the present moment. Plus, I don't have a foundation to set it on. Here's your tricks. Okay, in this power mod, put one here. And if you had tiles down, you want to be three tiles away. On your next one. And I don't have enough plates to do that with. Present second. I could run over here get iron and make plates and all that. But one of these bad boys will run a miner at first. When you put a miner two down, I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you get a miner mark two, this one uses five. Right now, your wind turbine is putting out 10. Right there. Efficiency, yes, it will work to have one down. When you put down a Mark II miner, it pulls 23. I think. Not positive. But it's over 10, so you got to have at least two windmills. When you put down the Mark III, you're going to have a power grid by then. Anywho, now we have a miner on our uh, copper running, just like our little buddy. It's not costing us anything. In biofuel, coal, nothing. It's not costing us a nickel. To run it. That's why I like the wind farms. Um, I've got a bunch of copper. And I'm going to take what's actually no I'm not. I just want two stacks. And we're going to run over here and we're going to flop down some stuff. I'm waiting right now to get concrete. I need concrete. Okay this is one resource you will blow through insanely fast. Concrete is your... Let's see if I can make this idiot run off the damn edge. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Giddy up. He forgot that I hit him. Where are you running to now? He's running out through the woods now. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, for those who watch my D-Rail Valley, I told everybody, I have COPD, so I cough every once in a while. And like I said, I don't edit my videos uh, right now because, simple fact, I want you to see... I'm real. I'm for real. I do this for fun. I enjoy it. I actually enjoy making the videos for you guys. If there's content you want to see, hey, rock and roll. Tell me what you want. Um, if there's a game you want to see, within reason, um, you know, if you want to gift it to me, fine. If you don't want to gift it to me, that's fine too. You'll have to wait till I get the bucks to buy it. Uh, my channel is not monetized, therefore, I hope it doesn't end up full of commercials. Um, at least it's not monetized yet. 
I don't really want to monetize because I don't like commercials every 10 seconds and I don't care for some of the commercials that are out there. In other words, commercials on my channel do not hold the views of the proprietorship. Um, but, you know, you're stuck with what they give you or what they stick on your channel. Um, I would appreciate the ability to pick who I want, who I don't want. I mean, you know, stuff from Ford is cool, but I'm sorry, you know, the Sasquatch soap and stuff like that is a little bit much. Um, they're a little on the crude side. Not meant for the audience I'm looking for. I'm not a G-rated, but we're PG. Um, you're going to hear hell damn shit, whatever. You're going to hear a little cussing. I mean, but it's not going to be the F word every 14 seconds. You know, I don't believe in New Jersey English, freaking A, freaking B, freaking C. Because um, my mother taught me better. Okay. Anyhow. We've done that. We've gotten our wind turbine. We want to upgrade our belts and vertical abilities. Now, the produ productivity display, yeah, so what? I haven't used it too much. It's one of those things you can either use it or you don't. You like it or you don't kind of like, you know, whatever, but the elevators and the, it's a conveyor elevator type thing, they call it a lift, on the farm we used to call them elevators, or escalators, or whatever, but they call it a conveyor lift, whatever, works. Uh, conveyor mergers and conveyor splitters. These two bad boys you will use a ton of. Believe me. I do. But this is going to be... This one, base building, it's important, but it's not important in the beginning. First, these two right here are switched backwards. You should want this one first and that one second. In my opinion, uh, the devs have it set up to where you know this one's first, this one's second, this one's third. This one is really handy too because you get that girl, the man. Um, that is another important piece of machinery you need to build immediately. There's not too much that you need to build immediately, but her. She's going to research everything you shove into it. You'll get uh, trees that you can uh, research out stuff. You're going to get inventory slots. You're going to get hand slots. You're going to get a lot of stuff. When you do this research to get that, you're going to get five inventory slots and a hand slot when you do that. But in this right here, like when you do Cathereum, Ethereum or will get you all kinds of goodies, but it also, in that part of it, will get you hand slots and inventory slots. Same with alien organs and a lot of other stuff. There's extra stuff inside that that you can get for your inventory. The scanner's useful, beacons are useful personal lockers. I don't use very many of them. I may use one or two, depending on if I'm doing nuclear power. If you're doing nuclear power, uh, yeah, they're handy to have because you can store your hazmat suit and all the other crap in it that you need to go into the danger zone and don't have to carry it around. But this guy right here is the first thing you really need, and if you're using the mod, this is number one ace. That's number two. If you're not using the mod, that's number one. So we're going to set that as our milestone. We want to get this done 
rapidly. Not super quick, but rapidly. Here's where planning ahead. Okay, and I remember I told you I'm not going to try to jerk the mouse left and right. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm not trying to move left and right real quick, but I'm trying to do a little bit of base planning at the same time. We know that our um, miner is way the hell over yonder. So to facilitate utilization of the conveyor coming to it, we want to set our miner somewhere close to that cliff. Not over it, but close to it. And that way we only have to pick it up one time, set it right back down once we build our base on top of it. Here we go again with the on angle run because I don't want to get in the way of myself. And we're out of um, reinforced plates. We got enough for that. We're not worried about building cable right now. We're worried about wire. Okay, we want to get wire. And we want to get wire in production. And we don't have enough plates for conveyors. Back over to the plate conveyor box. Plates, thank you. Like I said, you're going to burn through a lot of materials. So, you know, you want to get where you're building stuff pretty quick. And then once you get to where you're building stuff, it looks like a pretzel. I hate that. This one don't look too bad. Actually, it looks pretty fair. I wonder if I got enough. I got enough for one. It may be enough to run both of those. Do, 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 do. We'll find out. We want to make wire. And we want my copper ingots. We have a few copper ingots in here. Remember I told you not to worry about using those up. And we have copper. Four. Holy shit, it's holding. Whoa. We're making ten, we're using ten. Actually, we're making ten and we're eating up eight. So we're two megawatts below. That was, that's nice. Okay, put down one and you can actually run two machines. So that means you can make an adjustment over here for right now. Actually, I don't think I've got enough plate. I don't. Don't have enough rods. Uh, let's see, this one's my rod box. You're still following me around. Let's see if you got anything. Yep. What did you pick up? Cathurium ore. Thank you. Nice little puppy. I'd feed you, but you won't eat. There's no maintenance to them guys. When they get off of you, and they just start following you around, and if you walk up on them and they go away, then you can feed him again, and he's yours again, and da 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 Depending on if you want one. Like I say, I, when I'm building my base at first, no, I don't like having one, because, simple fact, it gets in the frickin' way. Point. 
cut the power over there and bring the power to there. Now we're running our miner and our constructor for free. We're not having to use any power to build concrete. Now it won't, one of them will not run the miner, the constructor, and the foundry. It ain't gonna happen. So don't try to do it, but you can put two down and run all three. Which, let me see if I got enough to convert over. I got enough to make two of those. Yeah, sure can. Here's the trick with the, the wind turbines. Okay, everybody watch. Set one over there. One there. Now you're leaving space for future to stick one up there. They've got to be three foundations apart. Otherwise, it didn't work right. They'll only put out five or seven or whatever they want. Now, I will tell you this. They are kind of nice because you can run a power line in and a power line out. Or you can run whatever. It's, you can hook it twice. You can actually hook it to two objects. So, now... Um, don't need that. Uh, where are you tied in at? You're tied in to that one. And you're tied into that one. I don't want to mess up the power grid on other stuff. So I'm actually making a new power grid per se. Remember, you can only hook four things to one power pole. Okay, so here we go. This one is out. We've already got four in it. But we got this guy here that we can latch on to. Because we're going to have a little extra power. Not much. We're going to have a little extra power. We're making 13. We're using 20. So we got seven we can grab off of it if we want it. But now, our plate production is on wind turbine. Go over here on the other side. And we're going to do one about there. Get other stuff out of the way. Because it doesn't allow you to place stuff. You got crap in the way. We've got two here. And hook into the grid. Here. Okay, we just shot our grid up. Okay. <coughs> now, here's where it gets really weird. Consumption, we're using 13 point whatever max. Uh, we're production of 20 continuous and we have a capacity to go to 60 which means our two wind turbines brought us up from 40 to 60 but they're not working right now this this is where your power gets funky um, me, I just go over here and pull the crap out of the damn hub and shut those two biomass beasts down because I don't need them anymore. Everything we have is on wind turbines. So if we take and go to this guy, 
and take his biomass. Go to this guy. Take his biomass. When they run out of fuel, it's not going to affect the grid at all. Now you can daisy chain all of this together um, as if you were trying to make it work as a conglomerate. I like to take and split things off. I like my concrete to be independent. My copper manufacturing, I really don't care. It can be in with the steel. Uh, stuff that is, you know, using a constructor, I don't mind if it's all on the same grid. But my concrete, no. No, 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 no. I want it on its own. Now, if you notice, we haven't lost our capability. Okay, we're just down to 20. Because we are using one thing to run those two machines. And we've still got the power pole over here. Which we really don't need. So we can pick these up that are not being utilized. Which I'm going to let those two run out of fuel completely. If you don't disconnect them, they won't run out of fuel. They will sit there and churn and churn and churn and churn and churn until you pick the hub up and put it back down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him keep manufacturing power and I'm going to bring the production in on to something else that's not using power because I'm using solar or wind power. Um, nuts. Canuts, 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 canuts. Let's see, where's it run across? It runs to that one. Okay. Um, let's take this one off. Now we're going to make those two, or at least one of them, run out of power and shut off. You are so stupid. He's a lot of fun. Ran out of fuel. One of them did. Or both of them. I think both of them did at the same time. Okay, now we can hook back up. Now we're manufacturing at the same rate. We're still using 20. Because we're running those three things, and we're running that drill, that smelter, and that constructor, but we're not using any biofuel. We're not burning. We're not polluting. We're totally green. And for you green buffs, that might be a plus, you know? So now, we're making our wire. We're making our plates, we're making, we got enough plates, actually, let's kill that off. Uh, we'll get enough bars, we'll get enough wire, and we'll get that done. Let's see if we got enough plates, bars, and wire. We got enough bars. How are we doing on plates? At first, you're going to run around in circles because you don't have your base made and you're not making a base yet. Oh wow. We're there. We are there. You understand that? We're there. Wink. Got all the plates. <coughs> we got all the rods so we'll put the rod in that's what she said told you that never gets old 
and we got the wire so we put all that in and launch milestone reach conveyor belts can now merge split and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory we encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation the productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. She tells you about the productivity display, but she doesn't tell you how to find it, does she? Anyhow, once again, I digress. I gotta quit digressing. Progressing to whatever. Uh, we either want the MAM right now or we want to build a base. Guess what? Doesn't matter. Either one. You get more stuff quicker this way. You also get some projects this way. But this way, you're going to get... to actually put down a base, put down foundations, and get yourself, your wind farm built. So if you're looking to, to increase your power to where you can make more plates, more rods, more screws, more of this, more of that, go this way. If you wanna get research started and need more inventory slots, which is nice, and get yourself another hand slot go this way doesn't really matter one way or the other now in two you need that one real soon because once you build your space elevator you need to make these okay for your first step up and you got to make 50 of them trick guess what you can't build them in the crafting table if you read the little notation down at the bottom below it it's a project part okay it's project part number one send this up in the space elevator to complete the task and move forward on the next set of assignments uh yeah so that means you're not going to be able to make it. Anytime it's a project part, you rarely can make it by hand um, until you get further on up. Because of computers you can make by hand and a few other things you can make by hand to make the project part, but you cannot make the project parts themselves. Uh, reinforced, I believe it's reinforced trusses can't make them by hand um, automated wiring can't make it by hand the control valves can't make it by hand uh, the motors you can't make by hand so a lot of stuff you cannot make by hand now you can make a lot of the parts for it but you can't make the actual project part so you have to use automation and the assembler makes that part so you need this soon. Not right this moment, but you need it soon. Me, I'm going to go base building ways. Because I want to get my power, power grid going. Grib. Grid going. And we need 200 concrete, 100 plates, and 100 rods. Which we've got everything to do it. And the freighter is back. Why not? Send the freighter off again. Wahoo! Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Remember I said we need screws a bunch? You're going to need them now. And you need 100 plates, 
300 wire, 300 screws. So you're going to need rods, a bunch of them. That might be enough. About a hundred will make 400 screws because it's one per. Yeah, we can make 300 right there. Here's another grinder. You got to grind this one up, but it's making four at a time. Once you build your base, you'll build a section to make screws, a section to make plates, a section to do this, a section to do that. That's the smart way. Okay, a lot of folks will build one little base here and a little base there and a little base. Put it all in one building, big building. Save yourself a lot of headaches. Which is also why I picked where we're at. You'll see that in a few minutes. I need 300! Wahoo! I got 300. And the dang space shuttle's back. I need 200 more wire. And I got enough plates. So we're short on wire. Which, truthfully, you can put this stuff in. Now you're done with those two. See them checked off up here? Go out here. Take a look at your plate maker. And there's 224 in there. Did it get us up over 300? Yes, sir, it did. So now we can send it off and do that. And what do you know, your freighter's back already. Okay, now we busted out. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. In other words, you got to stuff stuff in it for it to get to work on the scanner. Um, we get busted out tier one. We got it done. We got it out of our hair. It's done. Okay, we're on tier two now. That's where these guys come in. Okay, these pretty much you can do them in order. Okay, now here's, here's a paradox. If you're not using wind turbines, in other words, the alternative power, you're gonna want that first. If you plan on going on biofuel, you're gonna want that first. Because solid biofuel, you can automate. All you gotta do is shove leaves and wood into it, and it makes the solid biofuel with a constructor. Me don't care because me got wind power. But if you're going to do it, if you're going to go vanilla and not use the uh, refined power mod, you'll have to do that and you want to do it quickly. So that would be one of your second or third objective, objectives before you finish out tier one. Okay, you don't need all of this if you can't have power. Okay, and you're going to want to produce solid biofuel because it lasts a lot longer than regular biofuel. Uh, so you're going to want the chainsaw, you're going to want biofuel. The chainsaw, paradox again, runs off the solid biofuel. So if you want the chainsaw, you got to make that to make it run. And the shuttle is back. Okay, 
and away we go. Let's get into section two. Uh, we need this first. Yes, there's another upgrade to the uh, belts. It's not super expensive, but you don't need to make 50 reinforced plates right at the present moment. You need to concentrate on getting to the next th two tiers, opening up three and four. You can come back to these anytime. That's like that one. I don't build these way on into the future. Uh, the awesome sink, uh, I try to get built pretty quick, not super quick. Um, upgrading the conveyors and lifts are going to be a priority after and you don't need that because you're not going biofuel you're going wind so one I would say two because you're going to get an inventory slots out of that that's the only reason I do it not necessary next and next or this one then this one okay but right now we need the assembler because those parts need to be made so we can get the space elevator done and get it going on its way now we need a piss pot full of plates And we're not even up to a full stack yet. Wow. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's grab some rods. Hey, concrete's making good. Notice I grabbed all of that. I just, it was instant. Hello, thank you. The reasoning behind it, you burn through concrete. Fall off the bridge. He'll find, the doggy will catch up, I promise. But what we want to do, no, we don't need that thing yet. We need to say hello to those. Thank you, I got them. We need this. Always stretch your conveyor out. Always elevate your conveyor. Now, if you're going to think about using trucks, and yes, there are trucks in the game, your conveyors have to be at least three off the ground. Okay, this is on the ground. One, two, three. And there is no more for your truck to get under it. If you're going to use the Explorer dune buggy, they have to be up to two, I believe. Otherwise, the Explorer won't go under them. And you cannot jump over them. Not unless you're evil can evil and can find a ramp or whatever. I don't know. You can build bridges over the top of them. I do know that. But instead of having to build a bridge over the top of it and only have one spot to get under it, build it up in the air, get it over with, get it out of your hair. Me, I don't build trucks. I don't use the truck convoy. I use trains. And I'm going to build this to here. I'm not going to put a buffer container in yet. Simply for the fact of don't need it yet. But show you how to use a conveyor. You can put a conveyor and pop it into a conveyor and then lift it up and put it in. 
automatically. Okay, this is where, like, you're coming up a major cliff. These things will stretch down 30 tiles, or 30 meters at a time. I mean, you can get some really good stretch out of them. So, yeah, they're useful. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All you have to have is a conveyor pole. You don't have to have anything else to hook to. See how it snaps to it? Okay. You snap it. See how far you can go up? You cannot do that with a conveyor. Okay. You cannot go up that high in a short distance with a conveyor. And finally decided to build itself. They realized it was there. Uh, so, you know, consider that. Every time you build, you want to take and utilize the uh, vertical instead of upsloping your conveyors. Okay? Saves a lot of extra effort. And it saves yourself a lot of headaches. So now we have got copper running into this. I didn't get up here quick enough to shove that in. Yeah, we only lost 18. No big deal. When you want to destroy something and get rid of it, drop it in your trash can. Don't drop it on the ground or it's going to stay there for a long time. I don't think it ever destroys it. Uh, if it's on the ground, I believe it keeps it forever. Because uh, there's stuff on the ground that I've dropped in one of my games. In the desert that I dropped a long time ago. I need to pick it up and throw it in the trash can. Anyhow, now we're making wire. We have our copper train coming and going into the uh, foundry for copper. We're making wire, we're making concrete. Okay. So basically we have the four basic items that we really have to have. Okay. They're not being pumped out in huge quantities yet, but we're making progress. This whole game is about strategy of making progress. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to truck over here and I'm going to show you this other mod. Uh, remember I told you about the smart mod? First thing I want to do is line up. When you're building your base, here's a little trick. Get yourself on north, south, east, or west. And you do that, if you look at the top of the screen, I can't take a cursor up there to do it. Wait, I might. Let's try this. Right there. That cursor and the little this little dot tells you where you're pointed. Okay? If there's something over here or something over here, it's not in your the way you're moving. Direction of travel. That's your direction of travel little icon. North is and east is E, west is W, and south is S. You guys know how to read a compass, I hope. Uh, that is... We got new stuff. We got a lot of new stuff over here. We got ramps and we got foundation. I build all my bases out of the two meter foundation. Now the reason that I locked on to north, okay, is so I can orientate the found first foundation I set, okay, is the tempo for the rest of the base. Okay, so if you build it on an angle, when you're going somewhere, 
coming from somewhere, your base is going to be on an angle from the compass. Some of you don't care. Some of you do care. The reason I do this is so that my base is in line with the compass and I don't have to deal with the simple fact of my base is Annie Godlin. Okay, and I'm, I look like I'm putting down a checkerboard on a bias. Get on top. Now you notice the arrow that's on my, my tile. You can change its direction. When you snap, you can only change it 90 degrees. Here's the trick with this. If you hold down shift, you can set down more than one row. And if you look up there in the right top, I'm four or five to one right now. Now you press Alt. Here's the best part. You press Alt, and I don't want it to build toward me. I want it to build away from me. Until you run into something, it'll keep going. Okay, and on and on and on and on. So what I do, and I don't know whether I'm too high or not. That's why I'm building this right this way for a second. Wham! I just built a whole bunch of foundations. And I didn't have to walk along and do this. Okay, that could get irritating real quick. Putting down base foundation floors is a pain in the butt. Okay, always has been. Because you're doing this. And it'll drive you insane. Okay? I don't like doing it. I just don't. Now, I don't think I'm too tall. I may be. Hmm. I'm going to pick this up. Another little trick. When you pull up your deconstructor. Oh. One thing I didn't tell you in the first tutorial, I'm going to tell you now. Everything that you put down, you pick up with the destructor, you get all of your material back. It doesn't keep anything. Like in some games where you only get half your stuff back, in this game, you get everything back. You don't lose anything. So the parts you make today, the parts you dismantle tomorrow <coughs> are all returned completely. That's the word I wanted was returned. Now, something a lot of people don't know about is the mass deconstruction. Now, no matter where I point the mouse, it will light up whatever I'm pointing it at. This is where this becomes dangerous because if you point it and you start now you hold down control to make this happen it's left control as long as you don't aim it at something else you can pick up all those tiles but the second you aim it at something like that now it's going to take that down with it okay there's no way to take it off. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. If you tr if you try to, to left click on it to get it off, it won't. It'll try to deconstruct it and it'll start. Okay? So the only thing to do here, go back, press F again, and then you hold down control. Now you can hold down control and still run. And this is something that comes in handy when you're taking down sky lanes. Okay? There's Dum Dum. Stuck in a foundation. Why are you backing up? You're not mine anymore. You're going to fall off. <laughs> I punched you in the face, didn't I? That's because you backed up on me. 
Oh, here we go, the flower petals. Thank you. Sorry for popping you. Anyhow. No, he's still following me, even though I hit him. Oh, yeah. This is why I don't like dogs in this game. I really don't. We got bow ties on that one. They haven't taken the Christmas stuff off of the the uh, R and D power R and D people. Haven't taken off the Christmas bows. Anyhow, the reason I was worried. I'll let you in on the secret. I want to put down foundations, but I don't want to get too far up from the resource heights. Because if you make it up like that high off the ground, when you go to put down the miner, it won't lock to the resource. So you have to be... And these are already tuned up. No, they're not. They untuned on me. Because I twisted them or something. Anyhow... Now they're tuned up. North, south, east, and west. So now, that'll line up on east like that. And you can shove it underneath the edge of the hill without jacking it up too much. And you got your first. Your first one's the one with most critical because everything else locks onto it. Okay. When you're first building your base, you're gonna do it like this. You can drive yourself nuts. That's why I have that mod. I like that mod so much. Now here's the trick of tricks. Okay, here. Remember I told you whatever you pick up is gonna go into your inventory. Watch that iron. It's gonna come into our inventory when we pick this miner up. And I'm picking it up for a reason. I'm picking up that conveyor. I don't need that. You're being stupid. Remember I told you he will get in the way Here's the here's here's why I say that. I can put one down there, but I can't put one there because guess what? Dopey's in the way. And in order to get him up here, I have to get way far away from him for him to teleport. Which is irritating. He may show up. He may not. He may. He is still stuck there. Oh yeah. All right, dumbass. Come on. This is why I don't like pets at the first. Because when you're building your base, his little butt gets in the way. Okay? He does. He gets in the way. And he's still stuck. Come on, dummy. Finally. Now you can't get back there. Nye, 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 nye. And you can shove tiles up under things once you made your level. And that miner's in the way. 
Now, you notice I paved right over the top of that with foundations. This makes your base look neater. Okay? Because it'll actually snap to your uh, resource on the foundation. And you can line it up to where it doesn't look stupid. So now hmm you can put that back in there. So now it's got 500 in it again. I think this guy's almost halfway done. We can choose to pick him up and move him because these foundries have got full loads. They got 500 in them. I mean, they're not going to run out right away. And we can start putting this together with mergers and splitters and all of that, which is your smart move. Okay, and stupid's caught again. He drives me nuts. That's why I don't like animals. Not in the beginning of the game. They're cute later on. They're a lot of fun later on. I mean, how can you not like that dopey face? But in the, and when you're trying to get things organized, he's a major pain in the butt. And he just, he's dopey. He stands there and... stupid. Hopefully I didn't cover him up. There he is. Hey, dork. Oh, I caught you in the edge of the damn foundation, didn't I? Get out of there. Oh, I'm going to lock you up right now. Come here, stupid. The only thing you can do with him to keep him out of your hair Right there. You gotta put him in a box. That's the only way you're gonna keep him out of your hair. And if you leave him in there long enough and don't come in and talk to him or anything, he will revert back to wild or whatever you want to call it. And everybody's going, oh you mean man. No. I just can't handle having things in my way. It's like other people when you build, you know, if somebody stands in your way. All right. Now we kind <coughs> of... <coughs> I turned this around for a reason. You'll see. But now we can use splitters, mergers, multiples, uh, I'm not going to put in multiples because we haven't did the wind farm yet, but I am going to just hook it up. Okay. You'll notice something. You see how 
if I'm just trying to run the conveyor on that it's red and it won't let you do it but the second you go to hook it to that machine it ignores the footprint of the machine and lets the conveyor hook up that's how you do it okay got that done hook our power line up hook the power line back up to that and it's full so it's not going to turn on until we hook it back to its smelter. Okay. So now we know the level of our base right here is cool. We can keep building onto our base and moving stuff up. All we got to do is pick up conveyors or whatever. Uh, but we've got to start to our base foundation. That's all I really wanted to do with this is get a start to the base foundation. Because where we're going with it now is the important part. do a small ramp or you can do a big ramp. I do big ramps because big ramps go to where you want to go. I heard a cranky beast. At least I thought I heard one. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, now you put your ramp down. Now you can go any direction you want to. But this is how I build my wind farm. Okay. You need to be at least... 20 to 30 in the air. Okay, we're going to do 30 right now. Isn't that nice? Now you can do this, you know, by hand. So this, this mod doesn't keep you from building this ramp in vanilla. Okay, because it's put down one ramp then go up here, put down a foundation, put down a ramp, put down a foundation, put down a ramp, put down a foundation. It's tedious, it's boring, it takes time. That's why I like this mod. It just, boom, it's done. Okay? We've still got 100, 335 concrete left. Okay? We want this to run away from us. And we're going to want it 21. Actually, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's head off. I want to put one foundation. Let's get out of that. I want to put one foundation here right now. Because we don't know whether we're high enough. 
the higher up you are in elevation, if you were listening with when we made that milestone, the higher up in elevation, the more these things put out. Okay, we're making 17. We're not making 30. So we gotta do, we gotta go higher. So, deconstruct. Go back to our base uh, ramp that we were using. There we go. Hold down shift. We're up here 30. And we're at 17, so we're going to need to go about 15 to 20 more. We're going to try 15 first. So let's run up here. And believe me, if you can build this in real life, it'd be great. Okay, the airlines wouldn't like you, but hey. 30 meg megawatts of power for putting a wind turbine in, up on a ramp. We built it. How much are we getting? 30. So now we know that our wind farm can be up here. We're above the clouds. We're soaring high. Going where no man has ever gone before. Okay, that was dorky. Anyhow. Actually, we don't want to go 21. We want to go 19 now. That away. I'm going to show you how to get a lot of power fairly quick. First thing to do. Boink. Put a power line down. Now you remember you can only hook to these things one time okay with a power pole because you got to have it to where you can daisy daisy chain them daisy chain them ah oh, so now i found out if you set them side by side the second one doesn't get much uh like five but if you count one two Three. Magic number four. If you're four tiles away from the next one, 30. So, every fourth tile, you want to put one of them down. So you run down through here, and you count your tiles as one, two, three, It's four Bullwinkle. Why did something not turn out? Oh, I ran out. Something didn't turn out right. I didn't count right. One, two, three. Whatever. I know that 20 tiles out, you should be able to get four, but no, you gotta have a first tile for it to do it, because you're doing four or five. Yeah. So it's 21. So when you hit that, you hit 20 more, and it'll work out. So I need to put one tile on the end of it. Anywho. Now that you've got a row of them, you can daisy chain them together. And 
now you have 120 megawatts. Five of them gives you three times five. Okay, 150 megawatts. I'm actually one short because I didn't have enough material. But that's how you do it. And then you build your grid over four and make another lane. Over four, make another lane. And just daisy chain them all back to this lane, putting a power pole in between each runner. That way you can hook up. Because the ones that you're running down, once you hook up once, you can't hook up the next row to it because you got to hook up to this row. You can't run three wires into one of them, so you put down a power pole. And that alleviates the problem. That's how you start a wind farm. So now we know, and we're going to take a run down the hill, putting power poles about every, I don't know, 30, 20, whatever, until you run into where it says you can't afford it. <coughs> If you see it's where you hit the four um, cables, when it costs you four cables, you got to stop and drop the power bolt. And then you can just pick up and go again. That's probably where it's going to tell me I got to quit, so I'm going to set it there. I was right. It makes your power line look uniform coming down also. For those of you who are, o are OCD like me, I like symmetry. Let me go down to the next one. And you end up with an oddball at the bottom. No big deal. This I don't mind. But running across here, I do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a place to hook in and go out here. And this guy has not got a second cable on him because he's going to go away sooner or later and become part of the grid up yonder. And we now have 140 on this part of the grid. Now you can hook all your wind turbines together that are down on your factory floor to your wind farm. You won't run out of power. You won't have issues. It's constant. You don't have to go running around picking up trees. That drives me nuts. If they had an auto harvester for wood, a machine or something, that'd be great. But they don't. And I'm not going to run around getting biofuel all the time. Besides burning biofuel, pollutes. This is clean energy. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Get over it. Other than that, that's what I said I wanted to show you guys today. Uh... I hope you learned a little. I hope I was semi-entertaining and not a stiff or a wreck or whatever. Uh, any questions, comments are more than welcome. Please be keep your cons criticism constructive. <coughs> Do not be toxic. Because um, you will lose your comment. I will get rid of it. Don't deal with toxic, okay? Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. It's appreciated. Hit the notifications bell down there. I usually do uh, maybe a video every other day. Sometimes I do them a while. This is a new channel for me. Uh, it is not my first rodeo on 
YouTube. I do have other channels which you're never going to see the links for because I got rid of them because they were awful. Um, they were vlogs and I I suck at doing vlogs. Okay, it just it happens. I'm I suck at it. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. I. That sounds really stupid, doesn't it? Anyhow, I just I don't like doing video logs because I don't have an interesting life. Period. Okay, I'm an old fart on Social Security, sitting here playing games. I mean, what is there to video log about that? Nothing. Anyhow. Have fun with it. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the mods. If you use them, fine. If you don't, thank you very much. Have a good day. Uh, I, I enjoy your company. Uh, we're going to do some live streams. Uh, I'm going to do live streams over on Derail Valley. I'm going to do live streams here. I may once again fire up Empyrean. I may do Ark. I may do Whatever game, you know, if you guys want to see me do a game and work out the mechanics of the game, uh, I promise not to disappoint that I will tell you, okay, yes, I picked up the game and I'll put out a teaser ahead of time or whatever you want to call it. Actually, it'll be an information. Hey, yes, I picked up the game. I don't have enough game time yet to have help videos. But as soon as I get it figured out, you know, in a, as many games as I play differently, because I play Derail Valley every day, I play this every day, I play a little bit of Raft every day, I play a little bit of uh, Stranded Deep every day, I play a little bit of this or that. You know, I play a couple hours of one, an hour of another, I get bored with them pretty quick, unless I'm doing a video. Uh, so, I play a lot of different games during the week. And if, you know, by chance you want to know something, uh, I picked up a new game called Firefighter's Squad. Uh, really good game. Not factual as far as being a firefighter. Close, but not no cigar. They didn't make it all the way. But it's actually pretty good very difficult in certain spots to make your objectives quickly good game um, if you want to see something in it hey no problem I can do that so like I said if you see a game that you want me to play and try to get some tutorials together and how to's or just playing gameplay playthroughs hey ask like I told you over on Derail Valley, if you watched any of those videos, the only dumb question is the one you don't ask. Night-night.